welcome to my channel. This is Princess Simmer, and we are here in uh, Sims 4 Medieval Kingdom Challenge Part 3 with the Smith family, who are eventually going to become the blacksmiths of Windenburg. We have set up a little blacksmith area here. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, what the rules are regarding him becoming, like, the blacksmith, but I'm pretty sure it just has something to do with his woodworking skill and getting that up to a certain amount. Um, so he is here, Tobias Smith, with his sister Agnes, his... Oop. I really don't want to call her because she's not a ward, but the girl Anne... Baker, who was Charles Baker's sister, is currently here. Can we kick them out? Because she really needs to use the restroom. Um, and yeah, I don't have a lot to say about that. So. I might add a bath because I realized they didn't have one in here. So we'll have to add one of those. Um, and there's only two beds, but I figured they would just switch on and off. I'm going to have her make some tea. Um... Let's do healthy green tea. And what do her skills look like? Because I kind of want to get her skills up. Cooking's out of three, baking's out of three. And I kind of want to get her skills up so that... Um, we can get her married off. So I'm going to have him go and start crafting some things that he can sell. She's going to grab some tea. So I guess the tea helps her with her cold, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think I'm going to have her just kind of make some food for the household and have her make a fruit salad here. She needs, needs to use the bathroom, but... We are just kind of waiting for Anne to be done cooking. And I'm going to say no to that because you're literally, your whole job is going to be doing handiness. So you got to get used to it. I do want to make sure that we are adding money to both of their dowries. So both of their dowries are a hundred a day. So Anne is going to have more money in there because she's had her dowry set up for longer. Anne has finished cooking some things. I'm going to have her go take a nap. And then Agnes is going to be able to use the bathroom real quick. She 
is literally sleeping. You can use it. Or not. So as um, Tobias and Agnes are getting ready to go to bed, I had Anne kind of just sleep a little bit longer so that she could stay up kind of throughout the night. Um, her skill, she's getting closer to getting to level four of cooking, but I, for some reason, think it's probably going to happen in the next part and not this exact part. Um, I'll put that in her inventory. And they're just going to be eating their dinner and then heading to bed. And we'll have Anne clean up after them once they are done. So basically the way I see it is that um, Anne is kind of serving Tobias and Agnes at this point. Like she's kind of cleaning up after them. She's cooking for them. Um, which isn't going to help Agnes be able to get married. So, you know, not completely ideal. Um, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, And I think what Anne's kind of realizing at this point is that as much as she likes Tobias and how close they are in relationship, because they are actually like really close. Oh, I guess they're not as close as I thought they were. Um, that she's probably not really into marrying him at this point. Um, she was very hopeful unfortunately it doesn't seem like they would be a good match and she really doesn't want to stay at the smithy any longer than she really needs to um, also you know with Tobias being a blacksmith he's never gonna be more than that just that and um, Neil Brewer actually is the first merchant. So she would, he's like the person that everyone wants to really get in with at this point. Um, oh, we can decorate the cookies. Let's decorate them. Does it have to be like in the center, like with the cake? Very cool. Um, yeah, so Neil Brewer is actually the one that everyone's trying to get in with because he is currently the highest class in Windenburg. I'm going to have her come out here and maybe like do some stargazing. Try and get her fun up a little bit. But also making sure she's not like... exerting too much energy. So Agnes woke up and she is also now sick. Um, but she is going to make it. She's not going to die from this, which is great. I'm going to have her change into her every day and have them just kind of switch off for a second here um did she finish her cross stitch or no yeah she did so we'll never clean her stuff up from her inventory And then Anne's going to go and sleep.
We have her practice some singing. Usually I just have them sing so they can just like get their fun up, especially when there's not a whole lot for them to do. All right, everybody. So Anne was feeling pretty lonely um, being at the Smith household. So she came over to the brewers at night and brought some pan fried tilapia with her. Um, I, I don't think her friend is coming down. She's up here. They're all sick, unfortunately. And Anne is kind of setting her up for a not good time because she just got over her sickness. So I don't think she's going to stay for too long. I did try to open up the live bar, but I think I'm going to close it. Um, because I am not in a place right now where I can have Anne stay for a very long time. I do want her to try and get her social up just a little bit. Um, with Neil here. And that way... Um... She's not as sad when she returns back, but hopefully she also doesn't get sick again um, from them. And it looks like um, that they have actually gotten the option to become best friends. And they have a very deep connection. Um, so I actually might make them become best friends. So she's got a best friend. Her social is pretty high. I'm going to say sayonara to uh, Neil here and send her home. All right, so Anne is back home. I don't know why they're both awake. They should be sleeping. This is your time to sleep, people. Um... Anne is feeling inspired, so maybe we'll have her do some baking. And she can bake some bread for the household. She's level four right now when it comes to cooking, which is great. And she's almost to her five for cooking, so we want to get the baking skill up a little bit. My goal is by... Wednesday, so by tomorrow, her time, she gets the ability to get married by meeting the the goals I have set for this. So we're just going to bake a bunch of bread right now while she's inspired to get her baking up. Um, she can't because it's, oh my gosh, because of the mod that I had, she doesn't know how to read, so she's not able to like get her skills up by reading a skill book. She solely can just get her skills up from doing it, and she enjoys baking now, so that's good. It'll get her fun up, and that's what she likes to do. Um, so we're here for that. So we are back over here with the Brewers and with Anne because Neil Brewer has asked her to come hang out. I can see that their pan fried tilapia is still out. I might put that just in the trash for now because it's going to expire soon. She did bake some bread before, um, actually I'm going to put that back in her inventory. She did bake some bread before coming over here. I think she's going to give it to him as a gift. Oh. 
And then I'm going to try and have her talk about baking. Um, and just have them continue to chat with one another and hang out. Um, so at this point, just to kind of keep up on Anne's goals here, she is level five in cooking and she is level four in baking. So she just needs to get to level five in baking and then we can start the courting process between her and um, I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably going to have to be Neil. Like they're just two peas in a pod and they hang out all the time and Anne like never speaks to Tobias at the house um, and also Neil would be the eligible bachelor of the town because he's the only one that's officially a um, a merchant. So he's got the, I mean, Tobias has the most money household wise, but that's solely because he got Anne to move in with all of Charles's money. So him and Neil are the bachelors to be, but she just gets along so much better with Neil than with um, Tobias. Both of them are so sick. You really should not be here, Anne. You're just going to keep putting yourself more at risk. I think we're going to end this little shindig and have her send, go home. We are really trying to keep her from not being ill. I know that once like she hits level 4 in baking, we're going to try and do a, a date with her and Neil. Because once you have somebody who is eligible for marriage, um, you have to start the courting process and you have to go on three dates that are gold level um, with a chaperone. So so uh, Anne's chaperone at this point would be Tobias. Um, and... That's kind of where things are at this moment. She's going to just keep baking bread. That's all she's got going for her. Um, this girl is literally still so sick. Have her drink some more tea. I really don't know what to do else than to just medicate her with tea. Um, so that's our goal is that if we get to level five of baking for Anne by tomorrow, then we'll have a date with Neil and, and by date, it's just like an outing. I think cause in order to have, I mean, we could have the date at here and that would count as, I don't know. We'll figure it out. You have to have some kind of social event is the point. Um, to have him continue to cloud gaze to get his fun up. Once she's done drinking her tea, I'm going to have her... Oh, she can't because she's uncomfortable. We are so close to getting to that level 5 of baking. I feel like she just needs to make one more bread. That's all it takes. You can come and clean that. I'm going to put the rest of the bread in here. We're probably going to have to send Anne out for a little bit because um, Agnes does need to use the bathroom. So we'll have her use the bathroom and then we're going to send her back to sleep because she's just exhausted. She's been sick forever and she's really not getting better. Tobias and Anne are not sick currently, which is great. They've been able to stay away from it, but we're going to bake one more bread and see if that's all it takes 
for us to officially have one eligible sim for marriage. And the goal would be is that when kids, you know, when female sims are younger, they're working on these skills. Since I started with all of the females in this town being young adults, like, it's getting pressed here because hopefully they would have um, all of their skills by the time they're young adults. And she has officially gotten level five in baking. So we have our first marriage el eligible female, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm just gonna have her finish making this bread because why not? She did it. Congratulations, Anne. We're so proud of you. I've been working for this your whole life, and now all you need to do to get married or get that ring is to have three gold level events, social events, with uh, Neil. So I'm going to have her use the restroom. And to try and like just maximize our time, I think I'm going to start a social event now and invite Neil over to the house um, and have... Actually, before we do that, we want Tobias to be clean. Um, and we want Anne to cook a meal. So I'm going to have her leave so Tobias can come in here and take a bath real quick. So that he's not stinky. And I'm going to have Anne cook a meal. She's going to have something for dinner. What is she going to make? That is also somewhat time appropriate. Alright, so she has decided on the minstrone soup, I guess. I'm going to have Tobias here. Actually, maybe she... No, Tobias can start it. He's going to invite... Um, he is going to invite uh, Neil over to start this social event. Um, and we will choose one accordingly that makes sense. I'm thinking we probably just want to do like a house party because that would make the most sense out of everything here. We could do a dinner party, but I feel like that's more formal for like, let's do a house party. That would probably be more of like what the peasants and um, merchants would do versus the um, nobles and yeah. So we're going to have it at the Windenburg Blatsmith residence. And we have started our party. I'm going to have this get moved out here, and Anna is going to call to Neil and sit down. So we are having our first social event. with everybody. Is Neil even here? Oh, there he is.
So I was hoping they would stay outside, but they're back inside. So when you're done, dude, you can come in here. And you guys are just going to be chatting. Ask about some reassurance. This is really weird. Check on Neil. We're just trying to get a cold on this whole event here. And we've got limited time. So the main goal here is to chat 12 times with your guests. So one of the wants that popped up that we I feel like we can do is have Sims kiss. So I'm going to have her start flirting up a storm with Neil so that they can get their first kiss option. And from there, they'll start to have a romance bar. So I usually go a little too hard when I first have sims starting to flirt with each other because this is not my strong suit. And I want to get the relationship up quick, so... Um... Let's work in suggestive... Can we hold hands now, or is that weird? Okay, great, we have a romance bar. And if you don't get sick after this, I don't know what will make you sick. Maybe we should ask him if he's single, even though we already know the answer to that. And... Embrace, maybe. Blow a kiss. This is going a lot better than I expected. Maybe, oh no, it's awkward. Why is it awkward? What happened? What did you do? So this is always what happens is I do something and it ruins the relationship and then I just keep like pressing on it. Uh, I feel like we're not going to hit gold in this one because we don't have the ability to do any of these things. Okay, so they're in casual discussion again, so maybe we can start flirting without it ruining the relationship. Nope, it's ruining the relationship. So I'm going to say that we're not going to get gold in this one here. And that is fine. We're going to put the food away. We still got a whole nother week when we get to the brewers to be able to do these and get to that point. But I'm hopeful that once we get to the brewers, we can have a proposal and eventually a marriage. She wants to become flirty at some point. So we're gonna lock that in. And she actually is tired, so she's gonna go to bed. All right, he is here. 
and I'm kind of offended that he didn't come and start to talk to me, but we're going to do a flirtatious joke to kind of get the mood started. And then we'll also tell a knock-knock joke, because why not? And we're going to flirt with him. Compliment his appearance. Embrace. Hold hands. All of the things we're doing before, except for confessed attraction, because I, that's the one I always just like. I feel like it messes me up. All right, so now we have the option to have the first kiss. All right, we'll offer him a rose. We need to be able to kiss through two more times. I don't think kiss hands counts, but you know. Oh, it does count, great. And a regular kiss to match it all together. And that did like nothing. Oh my gosh. They can't listen to the stereo. This is medieval times. It'd be weird of me just to place a random bar here so they can like have a drink. I'm going to do it because otherwise they're always going to fail these house parties. Nothing weird about having a bar at a blacksmith, but you know what? That's fine. Apparently, Tobias is over here and he keeps calling uh, Charles, who is clearly not alive anymore. He's going to make his own drink because he's the master bartender around. Oh, he's just making drinks. We can just keep drinking all the things that he makes and then we'll get that up. Ooh, and eat cake. Can you make a cake like real quick, girl? That's cheeks. Let's make a white cake real fast. Take a piece of cake, you take a piece of cake, you take a piece of cake, and can we call to meal so that everybody just grabs one? Alright, stop eating cake for a second. Oh, dang it. We didn't make it. Um, I am going to end this part here just because I feel like this will give us enough time to go to the next household and have them have an even amount of time. Um, I do hope that you like this part here. 
I might tweak with the rules a little bit because their relationship is good. I think we just need to get their romance bar up and do a third social event. Um, because getting gold on everyone is just not going to work. I think as long as you meddle, you should be should be able to move forward. Um, but yeah, so thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this part here. And if you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.